Caluna vulgaris, agroplants.org, also known as Scotch heather or just heather plant. This shrub or subshrub, it's a perennial evergreen and it's used as ornamental plant for the flowers, uh, cute flowers and it's really beautiful when it's really blooming. Uh, also bonsai and rarely rarely is medical, apparently there is some medical for this plant, I don't have a clue what it is, but some people say so, just be aware of this. If you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link in the right top side, and if you purchase it, of course, this is donation for this channel. Also, subscribe, it's really help, and it's important for this channel to continue and grow, and to create more video, it's another way to donate for this channel. So, hardiness zone will be, first let's start with the climate. It can grow in temperate, subtropical, and even in the Mediterranean, you will be surprised, but usually, uh, also indoor as a houseplant. Usually it's always, uh, everybody say, uh, it's growing hard in a zone from 4 to 9. Uh, it actually can grow very well in hard in a zone of 10 and even 10B. Voila, you can see here, 10B. So it's just rumors that these plants cannot, of course, a little bit different kind of uh, condition, let's say. So flower color can be pink, purple, red, blue, or white. Uh, sometimes uh, it's a little bit pale, so it can be like not two colors, but like a pink and, and like really pale pinks that look like white in the same plant. So this is something op it's optional that might happen. Except this. So what these plants need to in order to grow? So how to grow it? Acid soil, rich soil, well well drained soil. Uh, fertilize uh, once a year, put some mulch, uh, and this plant prefer weed free area. So pull all the bed weeds out of the, the next to the plants. Just the plant doesn't like the competition. You can start to grow it by cutting seeds or plant. Uh, easier to start by cuttings because then you can ensure the color of the flowers, and this is important. <clears throat> and uh, it's invasive, uh, supposedly, of course not here, and we, we will burn in hot summer, in full sun, so this is how to grow it. So, planting season. Spring, uh, 4 to 6 hardiness zone. Spring to summer in hardiness zone of 7 to 9. Spring to autumn in hardiness zone of 10A. And autumn to winter in hardiness zone of 10B. Planting season, it's really, really important in the zone of 10B. Uh, plant it in the spring and summer, it will die for sure. Major pests are scale, weevil, and spider mites. Uh, pruning season will be spring and summer, and prune just the dead stems and for design. Especially if you design it like a bonsai, so this is... Uh, better to design it when it's young, although the bonsai is speciality of people. So size of the plant will be 20 to 50 centimeters, so it's been 8 to 20 inches. And growing speed will be fast growing in the right condition, of course, harder than zone of 10B, uh, because of the hot summer that we have here. Uh, even slow growing plants or medium in, in the good condition here. Water requirement will be average to big amount of water especially hotter the area and hotter the summer, more water. Can grow in light condition of full sun to, to full shade, but with a lot of a lot of light and only in warm weather. Understood that it's colder climate, if you will put it in full shade, uh, of course not indoor, but full shade. Outdoor, it will die in the winter uh, if it's too much cold. Uh, it's resistant for the cold, but if you put it in full shade, something happened. It's just more fragile. Uh, so when you grow it indoor, you need to take care that it will be enough light. Indirect sun, it's important. Uh, home, uh, let's say home, uh, home light won't be enough. And uh, be aware that it might won't bloom if you won't have enough light. And so when growing in pots, so need to be 50 to 70% bigger than the root ball, bigger 
Bigger the plant, smaller the percentage it is. Every time that arrive to full capacity, it's two option one to switch to bigger, uh, bigger pots, or if you arrive already to your desirable size, uh, just cut the roots and the, the plant. Just prune it from the roots. Feel free, it will grow. Uh, except this, uh, don't forget to switch the soil every few years and potting, uh, use potting mix or pit soil with perlite. Uh, bottom of the container, uh, let it fill the bottom of the container, but also let it dry the same day. So do not overwater. And important to check that there is enough holes. Blooming season will be from the summer to the autumn. And if you want to grow it by seed. So the main problem here in the hard zone of Tempe that it's just not possible to find a real plant, a live plant. It's just hard. And if it is, it's really expensive. But you can start to grow it by seed. So this is how. So it requires humidity, moist soil, and temperature of 10 to 21 Celsius. It's been 50 to 70 Fahrenheit. Uh, save the seeds in refrigerator in dark and dry place. Planting season will be spring to early summer. Uh, this is a usual, not if it's too much hot in the summer. Again, the temperature is important, but in a zone of 10B, here, like here, this is need to be in the autumn, will be much better uh, results than, than in the spring. Uh, usually, if you different pots, if you don't, if you have enough, or you plant it directly in the soil, 30 on 40 centimeter. This is a spacing I meant. Sorry, uh, it's with 16, 12 on 16 inches, and require, uh, as I said, sunny location with moist soil and high humidity. It takes usually to germinate between three to seven weeks. Uh, so this is a bit problem. Uh, not everyone have this temperature because we have a little bit uh, it's a little bit hard sometimes to get it into it but it is this is a temperature you know 10 to 21 celsius and of course uh, require bearing uh, let's say at least one month of under uh, celsius, zero celsius so again uh, it's not just to put and forget it's required this kind of condition Except this, this is beautiful flower with uh, a lot of cultivars there is of this Caluna vulgaris and different colors, different, uh, a little bit shapes of, not shapes, but a little bit different flowers, let's say, with, uh, you know, some of them really look the same, someone just gave them a different name, but this is beautiful plants and you should consider to grow. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course purchase plant and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy and come visit us again.